Good morning, guys. Welcome to Morning Coffee. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you guys are having a good morning so far. <clears throat> I hope you had a good day yesterday. So today is Friday, November 9th. So this is going to be your weekend edition. Yeah, so we're looking at the energies from November 9th, today, Friday, to Sunday, November 11th, which is 11-11, y'all. Oh, man. This is going to be a pretty powerful day, powerful month. I do have to say, I do have to say that I think it's pretty cool that we're having our twin flame weekly conversation on 11 11 it just so happens to be a sunday and these things happen every sunday so get ready for that spirit's already telling me that there's a powerful message coming through oh god oh god i kind of almost wish they hadn't said that <laughs> um so anyway <laughs> so, anyway this is going to be a general reading for uh, the weekend, okay? So this is Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. No, I'm sorry. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So take what resonates and leave what doesn't. This is not science-specific. This is not love or career-specific. This is just what spirit wants to talk about today. Also, this is not time-specific. Uh, uh, um, time is an illusion, so is space. But this does not have to resonate with you right at this moment. This could resonate now, or I'm sorry, this could resonate later. This could have been a situation from your past, okay? It's entirely possible. Just, you know, take it as it resonates. If it doesn't resonate, don't worry about it, you know? Again, maybe it'll resonate later. Okay, so without further ado, let's get started. Hi, spirit. Please make me a clear channel for the human collective, for the collective at this time. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for the weekend of November 9th through November 11th. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, guys. So... The first thing, even when I was connecting with the energies before I started the video, the first thing I saw was green, okay? So I'm hearing heart healing, chakra healing, um, heart chakra cleansing, maybe even opening. Um, if you had any plans to do some sort of cleanse, get a Reiki treatment or something focused on the heart, I would recommend you follow through with that. Um, this And also the first thing I was getting originally was that this... Is, is probably a good idea to make this a serious self-care weekend. I'm kind of in hermit mode right now. Like, I don't really want to hang out. <laughs> I don't want to go anywhere. I'm kind of looking forward to spending the month in hermit mode by myself, in my room, in my apartment. Saving money, too. Hello. <laughs> But I mean, it's not, it's not like I'm going to go into extreme hermit mode. It's just, I'm not really in, personally, I'm not in the space to really want to hang with people right now. Um, and I actually, I watched a video, um, the Peace Dealer put, uh, put out a video, some like um, November forecasts, I believe, for the rising signs. And because Leo is my rising sign in Western astrology, or not Western, excuse me, Eastern astrology, which is what I resonate with the most. Um, I watched it and there was a suggestion for Leo to like stay in and that was right on point with me because I just really just don't want to hang out <laughs> for the most part. I don't know. Or at least I'm being very selective about who I want to hang out with. So that's the kind of vibe that I'm getting <clears throat> for the weekend for most, if not all of us. Okay. Self-care is ideal, is key. Also... Also, we're coming up on Thanksgiving soon. Obviously, that's not until the end of the month, but anxiety is, <laughs> anxiety is already building. Okay, so Spirit is kind of saying, if you're starting to feel anxious about that, you might want to just stay in and, you know, reserve your energies. Okay. 
but I'm also seeing yellow. And yes, this, my shirt is yellow today, but I did see a flash of yellow while I was praying over the cards just now. Um, willpower, you know, focusing on, continuing to focus on um, career goals or whatever, like we mentioned, I think it was Thursday, no, Wednesday, potentially. Um, Yeah, if I mean, especially if you're staying in, like if you're if you're kind of in a hermit mode, focusing on career um, goals and just personal goals is a really good idea, and it's a great way to practice self care too. You know what I mean? All right. So this is the weekend edition. So we're gonna do two pulls since we're pulling for three days. All right. So I'm gonna start with Friday into Saturday, and then we're gonna go Saturday into Sunday. Again, it doesn't have to resonate on those days. These are just the messages that want to come through at this time. All right. Underneath the deck is whoops. Underneath the deck is a devil. Okay. I'm hearing codependency. Someone could, some of us could be dealing with some issues surrounding codependency. There might be some sort of residual gook that's coming up um, for you. Yeah, that's really all I'm getting with that. All right, so let's see what we've got for the first half of the weekend here. For the first half of the weekend. Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay. Underneath the deck, we have the hermit. See? <laughs> I'm telling you. The hermit. So if you want to stay in the hermit mode, go ahead. You could be staying in hermit mode. Um, but this is do this would be in service of self-care. Okay, we've got a lot of cards here. We've got the three of wands, the three of cups, the four of swords, the four of pentacles. Nine of Wands, Six of Cups, and the Two of Cups. All right. Hmm. All right, so some of us are, are waiting for a return on an investment. Okay, you're waiting for your ships to come in. Uh, now with the Three of Cups, this could be, some of you could be still kind of, I'm still feeling a party vibe. So maybe you're still feeling a party vibe, or maybe you're kind of wanting to hang out. Maybe you are distracting yourself. Maybe you are distracting yourself um, with social settings, that kind of thing. Having fun, also. But here with the Four of Swords, this is still another energy of... There's still another, this is an energy of, um, you know, needing to take a break. Hermit is literally what I'm hearing. You need to take a break, um, stay to yourself, rest, rejuvenate, meditate. You know, this is very much like the, for, the, the, the herm, not the hermit, the, um, the hanged man in which, you know, you you put yourself in a precarious position in order to gain enlightenment, in order to see things differently. But here, for the in the Four of Swords, it's a similar energy, but this is more about resting, praying, healing, okay? There's a lot of healing that happens with the Four of Swords. Or potentially, there could be a lot of healing that could happen. Now, I'm getting that some of you might want to distract yourselves, like I said, because you're still patiently waiting for some sort of return on an investment for your ship to cut ships to come in, that sort of thing. Um, and I don't know, I would just say, because I'm getting, especially with the four of swords here, the four of swords and then underneath the deck is the hermit. Like I would say, you might, you can celebrate, you can have fun, but just be careful who you share your energy with, okay? Be careful who you put yourself around because I really feel like some of you are in a really delicate position with this Three of Wands here, okay? There's a delicate balance that needs to be kept in order for, you know, 
you to maintain the vibration to continue to pull these certain things in. All right? Now, with the second column, I'm getting a completely different energy. Okay, someone is holding on to something for dear life with the Four of Pentacles. And you see, the, the, the key word here is greed. Uh, and I feel, especially with the, with the Nine of Wands and the Six of Cups, I think someone is dealing with a soulmate situation or at least a situation from the past in which it's time to let that go. <laughs> it's time to let it go. That's literally what I'm hearing with the Four of Pentacles. It's time to let it go. But there's there's a there's perseverance here. There's stamina, and it's all because of the past, um, the past that you had with this person. Uh, whether that's like if maybe if you're like with someone or have been with someone, but the situation has kind of crumbled has degenerated but you're still trying to hold on to it because of the past because of the memories because the the key word here in this card is memories okay so the six of cups can very much be about nostalgia someone could be feeling really nostalgic about you know a past relationship or a relationship that's kind of still standing but you know is not going quite as well as it used to isn't quite going in the right direction maybe not even the same direction I'm getting two separate energies here. Okay. So this could be person A, person B, B, person A on the top, person B on the bottom. Or this could be you, okay? But you see, what I'm getting with this bottom column is what's going on is something needs to be released. And the and and the fact that someone is holding on to the situation in this circumstance is a bit greedy. A little bit. And I say that lightly, though, because, again, you have the Six of Cups here. So there's history here. It's understandable why something would want to be held on to. This doesn't have to be a romantic relationship, okay? This could be a physical att a a attachment to something. Um, this could be a job. This could be, um, you know, a, 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 a certain way of being. Anything that would bring nostalgia for you, but that you need to release... But you need to let it go. I'm hearing that very strongly. You have got to let this go with the Four of Pentacles. You have to. Because I'm hearing that it's holding you back for whoever this is for. Okay? Um, now, the thing that the big thing that I'm getting here is you need to let it go and you need to do some soul searching with the, with the Hermit. You need to spend some time alone. It's interesting. I'm getting, I'm getting a, dra a, a, a an overindulgence energy with the three of cups, which is interesting because you're that's usually the nine of cups that that comes out of. But I'm looking at this three of cups, and I'm, it, I guess, in relation to the four of swords and the hermit, um, I'm getting there's some sort of energy of someone just wanting to drown their sorrows, wanting to just, <laughs> like Peaches says, fuck the pain away. <laughs> And I'm sorry, I don't mean to laugh if you're in that position, but it's just, I love peaches, and it's just, it's funny that spirit, <laughs> that spirit used that as a reference, but. Okay, and so at the bottom of the deck we have, I'm sorry, at the bottom of the reading, so far we have the Two of Cups. So, we have a situation here where one energy is waiting, <laughs> is one energy is waiting for some sort of return on an investment, waiting for a relationship to come in, waiting, waiting for a counterpart to come in, okay, with the Two of Cups. Whereas the other energy has this Two of Cups, it's already standing, but it needs to be let go of, or something about the situation needs to be released because someone is holding on way too tightly. Now, this could be you. Maybe there's some sort of return. I'm sorry, guys, if you hear the garbage truck that's passing by. But some of you could be waiting on some sort of turn of events in a relationship that's not necessarily going to happen. 
but you just keep on pushing. You're persevering with the Nine of Wands. But what needs to happen is there needs to be a break. Someone needs to go off on their own and just spend some time alone. That's literally what Spirit just said. I'm going to get into the clarifiers now. And we're going to start with the Two of Cups. Starting with the Two of Cups here. Again, I apologize if you hear the The garbage can. You know, I'm pausing for a second. First of all, ah, all right. Underneath the deck is the Ace of Swords. I was pulled to that. Um, okay. So the overall theme, what I'm getting right now, is the overall theme for this weekend is realizations. Coming to terms with something is what Spirit just said. Understand, understanding that some situation might be over. Oof. I'm sorry, I don't like to pull forward messages like that, but some situation might be over. Now, there's something else that's coming to, that's catching my attention here with the, with the Two of Cups. Do you see how that masculine figure has a mask on? And I'm only saying it's a, I'm only saying it's a masculine figure because the, the deck is full of feminine figures. And so this talks about a counterpart, okay? So the masculine to her feminine. Now, it doesn't have to be a man physically. It could be a woman, but... To, for for the sake of this deck, it makes sense. Like as I'm looking at it now, as I'm thinking about it, it makes sense why that figure would be masked because there are no masculine figures in this deck. But they're still wearing a mask, nonetheless. So the other person in the situation is not going to be is for some of us. There's another person in this two of cups situation in this soulmate bond that's not being honest, not being upright. Or a forthright in their dealings with this situation. I, I'm feeling I feel an energy of someone is like putting all their cards out on the table, almost spilling their heart out, and the other one is just kind of like taking it nonchalantly, like yeah, whatever. I, I literally heard, I don't know if I want this anymore. Well, honey, don't hold on to that. And I feel like you already know. With the Four of Pentacles here, you already know this. But because... Mm, 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 this is a little heartbreaking. Because of your desire to persevere, maybe you don't want to be alone. Maybe that's why you're persevering. Your desire to persevere and the history that you have with this person, with the Six of Cups, you are holding on for dear life. Very Cancerian. Maybe even Leo energy. Okay, so we're going to get into the Two of Cups, please. Let's start by the Two of Cups. Underneath, we have the Eight of Wands. Communication. Uh, swift movement. First card that fell out and reversed is... Whoa! I told you guys. I told you guys. Look. This long-standing situation has come to an end. The Two of Cups in reverse fell on the Two of Cups. What else do we have? The Five of Wands, the Knight of Cups, the Ace of Wands, the King of Pentacles, and the Four of Swords. There's someone else in the picture here, guys. For some of you, there's someone else in the picture. Because you have this, you have the Knight of Cups, and you have the King of Pentacles. And it... <laughs> you have the, five of, the Knight of Cups and the King of Pentacles. So someone is here... Well, for some of you, for some of you. And the reason why I say that is because of the Five of Wands. There's conflict. 
I feel like, okay, for some of you, I feel like there's someone else in the picture. Also because you have the Ace of Wands. All right, so someone is inspired to come forward and give some sort of offer to make some sort of offer to someone. But there's there's conflict here. Now, in the same in the situation in which there isn't another person, because that's not for everybody. So please, I don't want you to think, well, well, we do have the three of cups. Oh, 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 oh. So for some of you, there is a third party situation with the three of cups. And it's this other person, because I just looked at the three of cups and I thought, and I heard there's a third wheel. Well, that third wheel is patiently waiting for a return on an investment. All right, so here's the deal. With the King of Pentacles, this is a fixed sign. So this could be a Taurus. Or any other fixed sign. Aquarius, Scorpio, Leo. But... It's so weird because I'm getting, I'm sorry for the pause, but I'm getting two, just two, I'm, I'm getting two energies here. I'm getting the energy of the person that's staying in this position. It doesn't want to move, doesn't want to budge, doesn't want to leave because of the past, because of what's already been established. But the two, I told you, I, look, look, you guys, the two of cups fell on the two of cups and it reversed. And then the Four of Swords came out again. There is needing, there is need for a break, all right? And I, the reason why I'm getting two different energies with the King of Pentacles is I'm feeling like whoever is in this situation and wants to stay in the situation, who's all holding on to it, you may have gotten some sort of re-inspiration recently with the Ace of Wands, which is, which is leading you to want to continue or to make, to, to continue making offers or to make new offers with the Knight of Cups. But this is Knight of Cups energies. This is not the King or the Queen of Cups energies. So I feel like there's a situation in which the, the, the love of the situation may have been downgraded. There is conflict here with the Five of Wands. It's conflict. Opposing opinions. And I feel like for some of you, those opposing, those oppose, those are, this, this, this is inner conflict. Because I feel like some of you are aware that the situation is not what it used to be. Okay? And there's a need to let go. But then that inner conflict, we're going to clarify these other two rows, but that inner conflict is directly connected to the Six of Wands. I'm sorry, not the Six of Wands, the Six of Cups. Why did I want to say Six of Wands? Interesting. Well, I was just talking about Wands. But ultimately now, there's a lot of communicate. Ooh chow good lord y'all so i just tried to pick up the deck and look at what came out this was at the bottom of the pile death i'm gonna put this right here there may be a lot of communication or you may want to be communicating with this person you may still be communicating with this person but i i feel like things are just not the same and because someone is so fixed in this situation, they may have somehow may have gotten some sort of re-inspiration towards staying in the relationship or trying to rekindle things. But there's a transformation happening, whether you like it or not. And I hate to break it to you. I hate to be the bearer of bad news. But now the second energy that I'm getting with this King of Pentacles is someone is just sitting still. This would be for the, quote, third wheel. <laughs> and I don't like using that term, but that's literally how I heard it. So I'm going to continue with that. Okay, someone has been inspired about the situation. I'm going to say for some time. King of Pentacles, Knight of Cups, Ace of Wands. 
And what I'm getting is, yeah, this is for, this is the person that's up here that's waiting for, patiently waiting for this return on an investment. Just chill. Because <laughs> the Four of Swords came out twice. And I was talking about person, this other person's energy, this basically this third real energy, which is what I got from the Three of Cups. And the, and the Four of Swords is there. And look, the Four of Swords is out again. And the Four of Swords is over here on the other side of the equation. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right. So let's now let's clarify person B with the four of pentacles, the nine of wands, and the six of cups, holding on to dear life for something. Nine of swords. Oh, good Lord. Look at that. You see, underneath the deck is the queen of pentacles. So this is that counterpart situation we've been talking about. Mm-hmm. Look, check it out, guys. Check it out. I want you to look at this board. I want you to look at the board right now. I want you to look at the table and look at the cards. You can see the Ace of Swords clearly right here. And what is the Ace of There's something else underneath it. We'll talk about that in a second. What else is underneath it? What's underneath that? The Nine of Wands. Perseverance. Okay. But you see, you've got the Nine of Swords right here which is falling on the Four of Pentacles, which is saying to me that you know exactly what you need to do. Nine of Swords. Anxiety over letting this go. Ace of Swords and the Page of Wands. This is very interesting. Ace of Swords came out again. And this is for this person that's holding on to something. So, okay. I'm gonna... I feel like I want to pull again for this for this energy. But what I'm getting with this is there was, there was, in fact, some sort of epiphany, some sort of aha moment that re-inspired you towards holding on to this situation towards continuing towards persevering towards this situation oh okay okay i know what i want to do um i'm going to leave the queen of pentacles out but i want to clarify the six of cups specifically please clarify the six of cups please Woo! okay all right nine of pentacles this is the single card. This is the bachelorette, bachelor, bachelorette card. We've got the two of swords in reverse. <laughs> We've got the two of wands and the ace of pentacles. And that fell down here. I, th this is really confusing me. I'm not going to lie. This is confusing me. Because I, with this energy here, this person that's holding on to something, it's like they've already had the epiphany, but they're refusing to make a decision with the Two of Swords in reverse, which, which fell on <clears throat> the Four of Pentacles. So obviously they're refusing to make a decision but they've already had some sort of epiphany and something something inspired them. There's some sort of new creative project or there it's because this is the page of wands. This is not the knight. This is not the king. This is the page. So with <clears throat> and this fell on the nine of nine of wands. So the stamina, the perseverance, right? But it's almost in a naive way. Not almost. It is in a naive way with the page of wands. It's not even like this is the king or the queen where it's like, no, this is established. This is real. I know exactly what I want and I'm going for it. This is right for me. No, this is the page of wands. It's like, this is like the amateur. It's like, oh, I don't really know, but this feels good in the moment. So maybe you got, this person got some sort of a aha moment. I, I'm getting that someone under, has a deeper understanding of what they want, 
but now they're going to try and continue to find it with this relationship because it's already established. Okay? <clears throat> but on the Six of Cups here, on the Six of Cups, which talks about soulmates, and this other person that's potentially the third wheel here, this really could be a soulmate as well. But the, 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 the deciding factor right now is this long-standing relationship, the long-standing reality of whatever they're dealing with. <coughs> but you have the Ace of Pentacles with the Two of Wands. And this person is reaching for the moon here with the Two of Wands. Or the Two of Wands. So I feel like there is going to be some sort of decision made, I want to say by the full moon. We are in new moon energies right now, but there could be a decision made by the new moon, by the full moon, oh, by the new moon. Yeah, there could be a decision made by the full moon. Oh my God, Eric, get it together. By the new moon or the full moon, it doesn't matter. It could go either way, but the moon probably is going to have something to do with the uh, some sort of decision that needs to be made. Uh, and the nine of pentacles is abundance, but is, be, is the single card. It's the back to the back to the right card, okay? All right, so let's clarify the Three of Wands, the Three of Cups, and the Four of Swords. Please. Seven of Cups. So far. Interesting. Ten of Swords is underneath the deck for this other energy. Oh, this doesn't feel good. This doesn't feel good at all. Um, this person, whoever this person is up top, there could be energies of them really not waiting around too long because you have the Five of Swords with the Ten of Swords, all right? Um, backstabbing, shit starter energy. This could be also, this could be energies of the retrograde, okay? And then you also have, woo-wee, the Four of Cups, yeah. So this person is the third wheel. This We're talking about the third wheel here. And what I'm getting with this is someone just really is not about to wait around for anything. I'm getting with the Eight of Pentacles here, <clears throat> with the Eight of Pentacles here, they're not, they are no longer going to be putting any sort of effort into the situation. <laughs> I mean, what, but now for this person, I am hearing that retrograde energies are in play, are in effect. All right. So I'm hearing stay patient. Okay, the key word here with the four of swords. Oh no, I'm sorry, it's repose. I thought it was patience, but okay, never mind. Um, um, uh, 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 meditation is needed here, but the ten of swords. It's like, look, no. Yeah, no. Uh, uh, done. But these are thoughts too. Now, with the Four of Cups in reverse here, I really feel like someone recognizes that this is a missed opportunity, uh, but also I, someone recognizes, I really feel like someone recognizes that they, they were passed up on, and they're not going to stick around for that. Okay, but there is still a lot of illusionary energy, I'm not going to lie. Seven of Cups, there's still a lot of illusionary energy. <laughs> Options. I'm getting back to the drawing board, even. And the drawing board would be like a vision board type situation. Like you're thinking about, okay, well, well now where do I go? That didn't work out, so what do I do now? Now, with, with the um, the Hermit being underneath the deck for this part of the reading, I feel like both parties, and this really could be one person. This doesn't have to be two different people. This really could be one person going through something. But um, with the Hermit being underneath the deck, I feel like everybody needs some time alone, some time for, and space for introspection. 
some time to deal. Because I feel like both parties are a little heartbroken right now. And with the Five of Swords that came out for the top row, I really feel like someone is in a position or is in an energy where someone else got in the way. Like something was coming together and then something shifted with the Five of Swords. Because one person, the other person down here, they got the Five of Wands. Look, for the Two of Cups, there's the Five of, the five of Rods is up here. And the Five of Swords is up here. I feel like someone feels like they've been betrayed with the Five of Swords. And the, I feel like the other person is kind of aware of it and is a bit conflicted by it with the Five of Rods. But there is no more energy that's being put into the situation. And with the Ten of Swords here, this either means... The Ten of Swords is underneath the deck. And this either means that... Um, That the worst is behind you, or the situation is just over. Now, with the Four of Cups in reverse, there's potential here that the end that the, the the situation couldn't turn around. Because I feel like that person right there, because you know, we were talking about there this that's the basically the energies of the third wheel, for lack of a better term. And they they were passed up on in the past, but potentially they may may there's potential that um, you know they may not be passed up on anymore. But the biggest thing, the main thing I got with that four of cups in reverse was like not allowing yourself to, to put not putting yourself in that position to be to be passed up on anymore. Done with it. Maybe even done with being the third wheel. It could also be that if once you stop investing into this situation, things could turn around for you. But I don't know. I don't know if you would want to stick around for that, to be honest. I really don't. You might be wondering if that could be a waste of your time. Okay, let's get into... We're going to get into some Whispers of Love for this. Best messages, please, Spirit. Be authentic to who you are. And then underneath the deck is consider your foundation. <clears throat> and that was reversed. Huh. That's not really that's not really so relevant. But also can yeah, can it, it is the, the reversal is not so relevant. It is. That's weird. It's like leaving something behind. Considering the foundation, maybe the foundation isn't good enough anymore. Maybe the foundation is different. Maybe the foundation isn't the same. Maybe the foundation isn't what you thought you wanted in the past. I, oh, yeah. And then this card is be authentic to who you are. So some of you are in a situation in which you built a foundation with somebody, but it's not what you wanted. It's like you're following the status quo. And you need to be authentic to who you are. You need to actually go after what it is you truly want instead of going after what it is other people want for you. And that's where the hermit comes into play. I want to get, I want to get some unicorn oracle with this. Get some action steps. And then we're going to reset and we're going to do a second pull. So this is going to be a long one, guys. We're already 40 minutes in. steps please best messages spirit innocence huh gentleness is underneath the deck so be kind to yourself and others honor your gentleness speak words of love all right and we do have some pretty conflicting energies here um or not conflicting but um energies of conflict especially with the five of swords the five of wands both we got the five of swords and the five of wands and the Ten of Swords, all right? So there's a good amount of conflict here. I mean, come on. Sanctuary. Take time out from the world. Spend more time alone. Meditate or go on a retreat. 
that's literally what I was what I led the reading with. Huh. You know? I really feel like this counterpart here, this Queen of Pentacles, because she just turned upside down. I really feel like she's probably not going to stick around much longer. I don't know why that's coming through, but it was a message that I that caught my attention, so I wanted to tell you guys. Innocence. Take time to play. Nurture your inner child. Live with a childlike sense of wonder. So, self-care, guys. Self-care is like the, the central theme of this weekend, okay? Or for whatever time frame this resonates for you, all right? Okay, give me a second. I'm gonna... We're gonna do our second pull here for the second half of the weekend. So, just give me a minute. I'm just gonna recollect everything, but there's a trans. Look, look, guys, there's a transformation. Either this relationship is, tr is transforming, or a certain individual in the situation is transforming. But something is happening, and this could be Scorpio season too. Okay, Scorpio season is really influencing this situation right now. There's a lot of learning, a lot of healing that's happening associated with this. Someone was rejected, or not necessarily rejected, but someone was passed up on, and I'm really feeling an energy of they're not going to wait around for anyone to make up their mind, to choose, especially if this is... To... <laughs> the Four of Pentacles and the Ace of Cups fell out. Underneath the deck is the Hierophant. It's like someone wants to make an offer, but they refuse because they want to stick to what they know. They want to stick to the status quo. And if that's the case, honey, let them. That is not, that is not, no, honey, let them. Move on with your life. Like, don't, don't do that to yourself. That's their choice. I mean, it's a long-standing relationship, so it has, they have the right to work things out. You know? So it's not like you should move on with any sort of, um, with any sort of hate, malice, uh, Nine of Wands is underneath the deck again. <laughs> um, you know what I mean? Vengeance. None of that. That's not necessary. But just move forward, you know? I feel like many of you have learned, have come to a deeper understanding of self-care, right? So it's not about moving forward. Say you're the third wheel in the situation. It's not about moving forward with saying, okay, well, I deserve better... You, you're an asshole. I'm going to go find something better. No, that's spiteful. Move forward because you recognize that there's a situation here that is longstanding, has been long-term, and to be quite honest, if they want to work it out, they have the right to work it out. But you move forward with the understanding that it's like, okay, well, I don't do really deserve to be a third wheel, so I'm just going to... I'm just going to mosey. And I wish you guys the best. Like, I... Really? <laughs> like that kind of energy, you know what I mean? All right. So now, we're going to get into the second half of the weekend. Like I said, guys, like I said, this could be a long one. Okay, we're already 40, 44 minutes in. All righty. So, for the second half of your weekend... What do we have? The Knight of Cups with the Four of Wands. Okay. Established energy. Oh, that flew over there. This is the Ace of Pentacles. The Emperor. All right. Underneath the deck is Judgment. Okay. Well, we're continuing the conversation here. 
Judgment is underneath the deck. Now, you have a situation that already has foundation. Four of Wands. And that's where someone's going to be giving their time and attention to. Knight of Cups. This is a very apologetic energy that I'm feeling right now. And it's mostly in this, the expression, the, this mermaid's expression. She looks kind of sorrowful in this situation. She's like, she's like wanting to make amends almost. Go back to the situation in which, you know, there's long standing. I heard achievement. We have the Ace of Pentacles, though, but the Ace of Pentacles has come out in reverse. So I feel like this is an offer that's not really going to be accepted. You have the Emperor and the Six of Pentacles. Underneath the deck is Judgment. This is really interesting. Give me a second. I'm just like taking some time to. All right. So in some situations, you could have an offer. Because between the Knight of Cups and the Ace of Pentacles, you have some sort of offer being made here. But I feel like physically, it's blocked in some way. Or it's just not going to be accepted. Alright, so here's what I'm getting with this right now. Maybe it could, it could very well be, it could very well be, that someone is no longer going to be offering something to someone else. Because what I'm getting with the Four of Wands um, and the Emperor, which is here, it's like someone has very solid and stable within themselves. And they're looking for a balanced situation with the Six of Pentacles. But someone is like very sure of themselves, very confident. This is Aries energy with the Emperor. Uh, and I'm hearing they're not going to be taking any shit from anybody. Um, but because they're in control of themselves, they're in control of their lives, they're like the masters of their domain, which is being reflected here with the Four of Wands. With the Four of Wands, I'm getting an energy of someone being very stable and secure within themselves, having a very solid personal foundation, and being aware that they, they, they are in a space of wanting love and wanting to offer love to someone. But it's almost as if with the Ace of Pentacles in reverse here, it's as if someone is just is keeping that to themselves now. They don't No. They're not going to give a pentacle to, to a situation unless it's balanced. They're not going to make any because also the Emperor is about commitment, and the Ace of Pentacles could be offering somebody a commitment here. So somebody has the love, the emotional reality. To make an offer to someone to allow it to grow to king and queen status, because this is the knight of cups here. But with the ace of pentacles in reverse and the emperor, someone is not going to be giving any sort of offer of commitment or anything until the situation is balanced. And this all has to do with an awakening that they've gone through. Judgment is underneath the deck here. But this also is a wake-up call to someone to like wake up and smell the roses, wake up and smell the coffee. It's like, if they're not giving back to you, why should you be giving to them? Didn't you learn this lesson already? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, we're going to clarify now. We're going to start with the Ace of Pentacles. Uh, 
All right, starting with the Ace of Pentacles here. Please clarify, please, Spirit. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Spirit. Clarifying the Ace of Pentacles. Clarifying the Ace of Pentacles. Good Lord. Good Lord. Good Lord. That's a lot. <laughs> Holy shit, that's a lot. <sighs> wow. Oh, boy. That's a lot, guys. But here, we have, underneath the deck, we have the Nine of Wands. Again. All right, so more perseverance. Someone's really persevering. And um, I really feel like, this is for one specific person. And I really feel like we're talking about whoever it was considered to be the third wheel in this situation. They're persevering. And it's not necessarily they're persevering in the same direction with like pursuing the same person. It's just like they're moving on with their lives. They're like, they're determined. Okay. We have the lovers, which fell out. I believe this was reversed. This was, oh gosh, guys, it's later than normal. The sun is coming up. It's 730 right now. So <laughs> it's getting really bright, but woo, woo, wow. We have the emperor again. I think this is clarifying the whole reading. So check it out, guys. We have the Four of Wands again. Twice. This just keeps happening. <laughs> okay. That goes there. The Six of Pentacles. <laughs> wow and the knight of pentacles this is so confusing this is really confusing guys because it's like all right so what needs to happen is people just need to take a break people need to go into their own corners and do what it is they need to do for them all right temperance is here with the seven of wands and with that, I'm getting reclusive energy, okay? Needing to take a break, but needing to just stay to yourself. I'm sorry about the glare, guys. Stay to yourself. Do what it is you need to do for you. You know? And just be patient. Wow, I mean, I don't even know where to go with this. Knight of Pentacles with, again, I'm sorry for the glare, guys. Knight of Pentacles with the Knight of, Nine of Pentacles. What is that? I'm sorry. The Knight of Pentacles with the Ten of Rods. I'm sorry. My mind is getting all jumbled because this is just like, this is such a weird situation. Someone's coming in slowly, but they're burdened. They're burdened by it. Or maybe they're coming in slowly because they have a ton of burdens. They have a ton of baggage. The Emperor is here again with the Six of Pentacles and the Page of Rods. And then you have the Lovers with the Four of Wands again. This was all supposed to be clarifying the Ace of Pentacles? Good Lord. But someone doesn't want to make an offer anymore, any longer. Until it's balanced between give and take. And so now, what I'm getting with, with the Six of Pentacles and the Page of Wands, what I'm getting with this is that someone is now starting again, looking elsewhere, starting over, looking for a situation in which this the balance is... is the balance between give and take is still there. Or is there. And I'm not talking about just about like give and take, oh, you know, for the first five minutes. No. <sighs> I'm getting an all point. We're putting out an APB. All points bulletin.
The lovers in the four of wands. So whatever situation someone might be walking away from, there's it's a long-standing relationship. So move on. But this also could be the balance and union within yourself, which is influencing the emperor to come out twice, and it's influencing you to take control of your life, okay? I want to clarify the Four of Wands and the Knight of Cups. Please, Spirit. Four of Wands and the Knight of Cups. Oh, boy. Spirit has a lot to say. Again, we still have... We still have the knight of the nine of cups underneath the deck. I'm sorry, the nine of wands underneath the deck. And looky here. This is too much. Wow. <sighs> Guys. All right, we have the King of Wands, the Queen of Swords, the Queen of Wands, the Queen of Pentacles, the Eight of Pentacles, the Ace of Rods, the Eight of Cups, the Six of Cups, the Queen of Cups, Strength, Five of Rods, Death, Two of Swords in Reverse, and the Ace of Cups. Good Lord, Spirit. They're saying just to read it. This is a lot, guys. This is a whole lot. But you're at, they're saying you're asking for the answers. You're asking the questions. We're giving you the answers. Change, transformation, Scorpio season, death. I'm sorry if you can't see because the glare, the sun is coming up. I might, maybe I should close my, my blinds. <clears throat> oh, that's probably better. It's a little better. <laughs> but do you see, do you see this mess of cards that's standing here? All right, there's too much conflict in this situation. And so that's what's causing someone to just, to transform. Peace out. Oh wait, I'm not quite done with that. Okay, that's better. <clears throat> All right, and it's really funny because someone has the strength to move on. You know what I mean? With the Queen of Cups here, but well, oh look, look, okay, look. The Eight of Cups, someone is walking away, putting that there, because someone is no longer indecisive about the situation with the Two of Swords in reverse and the Ace of Cups. Why? Because they have, there's that Ace of Cups, that's that self-love that we've been talking about here. That is the self-love to say, no, I don't need to stay in this relationship, I don't need to stay in this situation, all right? You have the Six of Cups. All right, so this is some, there, this is a past situation, but this is also, this is a, this is like a soulmate relationship. Okay, there's definitely, I'm not going to say there's not a connection here. There's definitely a connection here. But, again, long-standing relationship. The lovers and the four of wands. It can be about a choice need to be made. But what are they going to choose? Should the long-standing situation. I mean, hello. Now. Oh, my goodness. All of these people here. This is you, okay? <laughs> this is one person. I'll get to that in a second. This is one person. You have the king and the queen of wands. This is balance. This is balance, y'all. Balance between masculine and feminine. That has ignited a passion, a fire, ace of wands, okay? Now, you have a lot of feminine energy here. So this is probably the one that embodies more of the feminine energy in the situation. And if you remember yesterday, I mentioned again how the masculine energies are the ones that are going through a serious transformation right now. Feminine too, but they've already been through a lot so far, so it's not as extreme. But check it out. Now, I always see the Queen of Pentacles and the Queen of Swords as very similar energies, whereas the Queen of Swords is very, very detached. The Queen of Pentacles is much more, has much more emotional involvement, but she's 
very she's she's very stern and decisive. Okay. She really is not does not take any shit from anybody. And with the Queen of Pent uh, with the Queen of Cups in between, it's like someone knows their emotional value. Someone is probably all up in their feelings, probably feeling very much in love. But with the Queen of Swords and the Queen of Pentacles, it's like they're tempering her and being like, well, listen, if they're not going to give to the situation, Six of Pentacles, you've learned this lesson already. You got to let it go. The Queen, of, the Queen of Pentacles is very is a very protective energy. Okay. So <clears throat> this is someone trying to protect themselves. The discernment is behind the emotion, but then we're leading with the physicality, the Queen of Pentacles, as the mama bear protection. Spirit just said to me, see, Eric, that wasn't so bad. It wasn't too many cards. Whatever. <laughs> Five of Wands. Conflict. Inner conflict, though. Death. Change, transformation, eight of pentacles, focusing on work, continuing to do the work, continuing to grind on your life, and strength, the strength to move forward. Fuck it. If they don't want to give to you, if they don't want, even though, even though we all know, we all know, but the six of cups here, this is... There is a connection here. It's foolish to deny it at this point. It really is. But you know what else is also foolish to deny? That this isn't still going on. With the lovers and the four of wands. It kind of breaks my heart to see this. But why should it? Because it's being, I keep hearing long-standing relationship. That's all they're saying about this, long-standing relationship. That doesn't make it any happier, any wiser to stay in it. The deciding factor here is this is a long-standing relationship. That's the deciding factor. And that's what's breaking my heart about it. I don't know who this is for, but maybe it's the person that was, maybe it's that third wheel <laughs> who is now hearing that and being like, well, shit, that's the only reason why you're staying with this person? Yes, unfortunately it is. But keep in mind, guys, that the beginning of the video, the beginning of the reading, the message was, take a break. Hermit mode, self-care. But there is a wake-up call that's being called out here. There's a wake-up call happening. Judgment. Opportunity is the key word here. Resurrection is a key word also. Not on the card, but like in my opinion, resurrection. Reconciliation also, but I'm hearing, I'm getting more of a resurrection vibe. Phoenix from the ashes risen. This person is, someone is really inspired. You have the king and the queen of wands. It's a balance of masculine and feminine, of give and take, that someone is holding. And it's because of that that you have all of this feminine energy here, but the feminine energy here is super protective at the moment. But also, this is someone that holds more of the feminine energy, okay? And they're in mama, they're in mama bear mode. Queen of swords, queen of cups, queen of pentacles. You have all four queens right here, right now. That's really cool. I just noticed that. Oracle. I don't even know what I'm going to call this video. All right, starting with the Whispers of Love. Advice, please. Best advice for this second half of the reading. Let's 
it's not really something I wanted to see. I'm going to be completely honest with you. It's not something I wanted to see. Underneath the deck is miracles and blessings. Everything has its gift. I really want to start crying right now. But what fell out is the union of hearts. There is a connection of love that defies explanation. And I know a lot of you are look, standing here looking at the screen saying, Eric, what, why, what's so, that's a great card. But with what I'm feeling with all of this, it's, this is incredibly confusing, you guys. It's incredibly confusing. Because at one point, I want to tell whoever I'm talking to here, I want to tell you to just move on. Don't put your energy into this anymore. And that's kind of what's coming through. It's like, no, I'm not going to give to this situation anymore. But I want to tell you to let it go. To just move, move on. But then there's conflicting energy, in, especially with, uh, there's conflicting energy in saying, I, I feel like this could actually come together eventually. But see, I don't want to say that because I don't want to build expectation. You know, then my attention is being drawn to this. So either this is really going to come together when you least expect it, or in ways that you least expect it, or this is a message about this long-standing relationship. Because look, the union of hearts here is very much like the lovers. Could also, this is also the twin flame card, in my opinion, in the Whispers of Love deck. I don't even know what to say about that right now. It's so, it's, I mean, this is so confusing. I don't know what to think. I don't know what to feel. <laughs> I don't even know what to tell you guys about it. Other than the fact that this really could come together. But you see the beginning of the the beginning of the reading was was the 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 hermit was underneath the deck. So, and I was already picking up energies of this needing to be a very self-care oriented weekend. People taking a break, going into your own corners. Someone needing to let go of something. I heard the long-standing... I literally, as I was saying that, as I said, someone needs to let go of something, I heard the long-standing relationship. Just because it's long-standing doesn't mean you need to... Okay, now, all right. I'm getting a little preachy, but I went through this myself. Sorry. There's a siren going by. Oh, good. They didn't come down the block. <laughs> um, but seriously, like, I was in... I was married. I was in a nine-and-a-half-year relationship. We ended up getting married. And the reason why I stayed in it was because I was... It, it was a long-standing relationship. And I just... I felt like I needed to keep trying. I needed to try harder. I needed to try harder. When deep down in my heart, I knew it just wasn't the right relationship for me. But I tried, and I tried, and I tried. I even left once, tried to get a divorce. Didn't That didn't work because some circumstances came out, came, came to light. And so I was like, maybe I... So I went back. And for two years, I tried again, got balanced, got grounded, and realized it wasn't right for me, and so I left again. Now, if this is what's going on for someone, there is no rush. Now, remember, the Unicorn Oracle was underneath the deck. Oh, it's gone now. But it was gentleness. Okay? So that's patience also. Be patient with yourself. I do want to get some unicorns here. But, I mean, go through the process. But keep in mind that there is no reason to stay. You, it, is not, it is not beneficial to stay in a relationship just because it's long-standing. It's not going to make you any happier. The Four of Wands and the Lovers. I feel like there's some sort of... There, there's a desire for some sort of marriage type situation here. 
But if it's just long standing, if that's the only thing that's keeping you guys together because it's long standing, I really don't feel like that's going to end well. Let's get some Unicorn Oracle here. And then I'm going to close the reading. Receive. One more. Be open to receiving goodness. Believe you are worthy of abundance. A gift is coming to you soon. Last card. Just one more, please. Sure. Just one more. Okay, well I guess I guess there are no more. Underneath the deck you have adventure. Dare to do things differently. Manifest your travel dreams. Move to a new location. Some of you might want to move. Some of you might want to completely separate yourself from any sort of situation and just get the F out of there. <laughs> Alright, now we're going to close the reading with the Crystal Mandala Oracle. This is a really long one, guys. This is your weekend edition, but Spirit had a lot to say about what's going on here. <laughs> Okay, I keep looking back at the lovers in the Four of Wands, and I'm hearing long-standing relationship. That's all I'm hearing. So I don't know what that means anymore. Yes, you do, Eric. Stop lying. Ah. Okay, well, underneath the deck you have Sacred Play, which goes along with Adventure. All right, so have some fun. You know, maybe spend some time with friends that really... You know, that really vibe with you, um, that aren't destructive, aren't lower in vibration, will help lift you up, will help you feel fun and good. But we have Ascended Master Mary Magdalene and Aqua Aura Quartz, Divine, Divine Alchemy, which is also mirror, mirroring this message with Temperance here. Okay, so don't forget, Temperance is here. But maintain your boundaries. Maintain your autonomy. Be authentic to who you are. And allow the universe to work this out on your behalf, okay? Divine alchemy. Somebody could, Somebody needs to let go of something. I mean, honestly. that's Somebody needs to let go of something. Uh, uh, divine alchemy. We bring you the blessing of divine alchemy. Divine alchemy is the part of transmutation. The ap I'm sorry. Di divine alchemy is the art of transmutation. The application of spiritual consciousness to physical form, so profound that an entirely new form evolves. It is irreversible change. It is the coal transformed into the diamond, the lead of sleep, the lead of sleeping matter, awakened into the radiant gold of consciousness. Successful alchemy transformation requires patience, courage, and a belief in the power of spirit above all else. The radical and permanent transformation affected by divine alchemy may seem miraculous to the outside viewer, the ch uh, oh, to the outsider viewing the changed form. Yet the alchemist knows that when spiritual consciousness meets physical matter, the world will never be the same again. Let's see what else is in here. Huh. The sole task of divine alchemists, whether they think of themselves in those terms or not, is to repair the damage that fear-based consciousness has generated in the world. A divine alchemist may do this with a focus on environmental or socioeconomic issues, or through the arts, creative expression, healing work with the body, mind, and soul, or through cooking and educating others about nourishment. Alchemists may do their work on the greater human collective powerfully, but behind the scenes. They may do this by bringing higher consciousness into their own being and then allowing that to permeate their work in the corporate, financial, legal, or political sectors, or in the worlds of marketing and media, where their ele elevated spiritual frequency is so very needed at this time. <clears throat> when the Oracle of Divine Alchemy comes to you, you are being advised that something in your world, perhaps even your body, is going to be blessed with healing transformation so profound that it can never be undone. 
This spiritual repair is not simply a patch-up job, but a profound reconstruction that will change the substance, quality, and consciousness of that physical world reality. Uh, of that physical world reality, there will be a purging and a reconstruction. This article also comes to you with a message for your alchemical empowerment. Whether you want to change in your physical world, can whatever you want to change in your physical world can change. What is needed is a commitment to consciousness growth, and unconditional trust in the process. Don't give up until it is as you would wish it to be. You must believe in yourself and the power of the divine. The art of divine alchemy will express itself through you, and you and the world around you shall be blessed by its healing power. Well, that makes sense. You have temperance. You have the judgment. Change. There's a, there's a change. There's a wake-up call here. There's a song, and also now there's a song playing in my head by Ally X. Y'all know I'm a huge fan of hers. She just came out with a new EP. It's called Super Sunset. But there is a song on there called Science. And it's basically about two people coming together, being together, and like just knowing each other, just knowing. And how they, they you know, they basically, they have it down to a science. That could be that long-standing relationship. And look, if the, if the if, uh, please don't get me wrong. If the, if this, if the relationship is long-standing and it's good and beneficial, then keep it. But the message here is if you guys, if someone is staying together just because you've been together for X amount of time and you don't necessarily want to start over, nah, that's not going to end well for you. If something is meant to end, then it's meant to end. You just have to go with the flow. You have to just let it go. Okay? All right. We're an hour and 17 minutes into this video. I'm going to go. <laughs> I love you guys. I hope you have a great weekend, and I hope that was helpful for you. Yeah? Take care of yourselves this weekend. Stay, you know, spend some time alone. Self-care. Be a little bit of a hermit this weekend if you need to. It's okay. It's okay to spend some time alone. All right? I love you guys. I'll catch you later. I'll catch you on Sunday, 11-11. That's our Twin Flame um, weekly reading. But then also, I will see you guys again on Monday for our next cup of coffee. Yeah? <laughs> Take care. Mwah. Bye.